What's good YouTube? It's Con Man here coming back at you with another MLB No Money Spent. And today, just gonna be going over the series change, y'all. So tomorrow a new season starts. It's gonna be season three. Uh probably gonna mirror season two. So here's what you should be doing to get ahead of it while you still can. So if you look at this, it showed off 599s on their Twitter. It's gonna be something similar to this. That collection, there's gonna be two basically lower tier cards like the rich gossage and the, got you know david wright uh or a big poppy i mean and then you have the three choice pack so it's very similar season one recap probably going to do the same thing here with season two recap so make sure you know you complete the reward path i don't know what they're going to do as far as the programs they're going to select um world baseball classic and charisma programs what they selected as well set one collection one of them so keep that in mind you probably want your target is probably three out of the five. Make sure that you finish that off because you will get a 30,000 experience boost. Just so you guys know, this is what's going to kind of happen. Set one's going to phase out. Set two and set three are going to be here. Core cards will always be good. So be on the lookout for that. But how do you get a head start? So here's what I'm doing. If you go to programs, you go to other programs, what you can do is line up EXP to be done. So almost done with the Father's Day program. I don't know if I recommend not completing it. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Kaju and Incognito uh, for what they pick for the two. Because they do Charisma and then World Baseball Classic. So they did two, three. So again, it'd probably be this one. I'm thinking maybe Father's Day. I might want to finish that one out. Get the head start. But you can line up EXP that way. Uh, same thing with Future Stars. So like I said, right here. 5,000 experience you can line up. You can even go back to, you know, that one's stuff and line stuff up if you haven't done it. Go to Team Infinity. 97% out of here. There's 4,000 experience. You want to line up the programs so that once you start doing this and you get into the programs, you're going to start getting extra EXP. The biggest thing you can do, personally, is what I did last time. And if you were here last time, you probably got a great head start to the collection but again that one 15k right here for 200 i might wait and see if these that one cards drop in price a ton and then just collect that because i mean 50k probably want to sell him um but these cards here i think they're dropping all in price so yeah like 20 so it might be worth it to look into that but the big one is this that too um again 10k right there we could collect it right now almost can get 15k so Day one, you could get up to 25,000 just by collection. Should have waited for the core. We did complete the core, but be on the lookout for that. But that's my recommendation, y'all. Make sure you're getting these lined up. I've already got almost two lined up. I'm going to try to get two more players so I can lock in, you know, 15,000 experience off the rip. And then again, like, make sure you do this goader one. I don't know if that's going to count for it, but... You might as well auto select all these guys. Um, I think four gets you nothing. Yeah, so we'll just do that there. So, like I said, line these up right here with the set collection. That's going to be your best friend to get a head start. And then also make sure that you're looking at these programs, getting them lined up to finish out day one, like this one. I've got to get like one base hit with Michael. So I don't know his name. One of those guys, and I'll be done with that. And it's not going to change anything. It's still going to be available. As you can see, still have stuff down here that you can play from step one. That's my biggest takeaway. Uh, make sure that you get your tops now. All that good stuff up to date. But yeah, that's your, that's your tips and tricks. Hopefully you guys liked it. Worked great for me last season. Good luck in season three, y'all. Peace out.